and welcome to this week's live. I'm Samriddhi, your Cosmic Soul Whisperer and today we're going to talk about how to connect with your spirit guides. So uh, it's not a one-on-one -on -one or tips on how to connect with your spirit guides. It's rather uh, the sound codes and light language that can help you connect with your spirit guides. So we have someone who's joined, it, joined our uh, live. Uh, welcome Drifting Away Therapies. Um, so uh, how I want to do this is, uh, how, how <laughs> sorry about that, having a bit of a conniption. So uh, I learned that new word from Jess. So um, I wanted to share with you an experience that I had this morning uh, about how our spirit guides actually connect with us. And uh, uh, let's see if during my channel state, and bringing through light language. Um, if some meditation comes through, if some guidance comes through, we'll take that as well. Um, hi Shubham, welcome. So um, the story about this morning, um, I wanted to wake up early to watch the sunrise and that was my desire last night. Uh, the reason was personally I'm making some big decisions with my life, uh, including travel. And I wanted to, uh, hello, <laughs> and I wanted to um, just get some confirmation and usually I get my confirmations when I'm watching the sunrise. That's my favorite time of the day. I don't necessarily wake up every day to watch the sunrise, but when I decide to, I definitely do. Like last year till September, from Jan till September, I didn't, I missed probably two or three days, but I watched the sunrise every day. Um, uh, it's lovely to have you here Shubham. I'm really well. Thank you and I hope you are too. Uh, and so in this uh, experience what happened is my phone battery died out so there was really no way for me to really wake up and watch the sunrise although that's what I had decided. And uh, when I woke up in the morning uh, I kind of just felt like I woke up because somebody knocked at my door um, and one side of my room is glass walls. I know it's a beautiful home. So this, there's a complete glass wall, the one behind here, it's completely glass. And uh, um, I heard three knocks. And I, uh, I wondered who would have knocked here. I'm on the 23rd floor, it's not possible for someone to knock. So I woke up and then I heard another one knock. And it was kind of a confirmation for me that I just needed to wake up to watch the sunrise. And, uh, and and it really made me feel very encouraged it made me very happy and I felt like uh, I have this connection with spirit and uh, if if I if I call for it uh, spirit will be there to help and guide me and that's the message that I wanted to share with all of you today that our spirit guides are always waiting for us uh, and they're ready to show up when we are ready to see them so uh, sometimes it can be a bit scary for us that's why they wait for our permission so i just want to start off with a quick uh, request and preparation i would like all of you uh, who are whoever's watching live and i think shubham is watching live and uh, uh, anyone who's uh, going to watch the recording as well i would like you to uh, be in a relaxed state and uh, Take a few deep breaths to center yourself. Really nice, beautiful, gentle deep breaths. And as you do that, I would like you to give active permission for your spirit guides, if you wish, to come and connect with you, come and communicate with you in ways that you feel comfortable and feel appreciated and feel uh, guided. Whatever it is that you're looking for feeling. So. They definitely do need our permission. They don't like to come and uh, interfere. They call it interference in our lives unless they are sure that this is what we have asked from them because they really respect our free will. And so uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to pray. I call upon all, uh, all my spirit guides, angels, um, uh, and, and anything that connects me with the source my higher self and the higher self of this group and all the higher selves of the people who are listening 
at the in the present moment and in the future uh, bring upon all the higher selves guides to come and be with us and uh, um, I give permission for these experiences to come through your messages to come through and if you feel led as you're listening to this as you're watching this um, you can give a permission to them so that they can come into your life in more active ways to help you to guide you it could be something as simple as uh, helping me not miss the sunrise because I just wanted to see the sunrise or it could be something big like you want to make a big decision about uh, who's uh, uh, about uh, trusting a person or uh, uh, going to a certain place or deciding to take up an opportunity so um, our spirit guides can be extremely helpful so um, if you are religious then your spirit guides you can call upon the gods that you pray to and they're all there uh, they're there in your reality this way because uh, you have had a soul contract with them so that they can help you guide you and be with you to protect you and love you thank you and so uh, I would like to share this beautiful experience with all of you uh, of calling upon these beautiful ma magical magnificent beings who are nothing but our own higher more intelligent versions uh, more more intelligent more heartful the, the best potentials of what we can be they are that and uh, they are nothing but our own higher selves so there is actually no separation between who you are here and who you perceive as your angels and guides it's your own uh, creative uh, divine creative aspect coming back and connecting with you so uh, the you don't have to feel any disconnection or any fear when you do that there is also just one more tip that I would like to share before I begin the sound transmission is that um, I was just checking the message um, if you ever feel that in your gut or in your feeling in your experience you don't feel right about it then um, you can you can um, trust that gut or that intuition and you don't have to continue that if you know that you can trust it but you're still scared then just ask for this energy to be more gentle on you um, and uh, whoever whichever way your higher self is connecting with you will be happy to do that so I have had hundreds of such experiences uh, so far in my life and uh, I truly don't think that's extraordinary in one way because it's something that's very natural and we all deserve to have those experiences uh, no matter what what life stage we are no matter where we are no matter what we are doing it really doesn't matter we always deserve to have a connection with source and uh, it is also about us giving ourselves the permission to experience these things so if you allow yourself to play in this uh, new territory of uh, actually having a direct connection not through any books uh, hi Praveen welcome <laughs> if you can give yourself the perm if you give yourself the permission to connect with these uh, these beautiful beings of light which are nothing but your own higher self uh, that's the first step to giving them permission to come and be with you as well um, so have you ever had uh, an experience where your spirit guides or uh, in any form the divine has given you a clear message or given you some kind of a uh, confirmation that they are around so uh, that's that's some question that you can ponder uh, upon and uh, um, I'm very sure that you will at least have one that would come to your mind because uh, it is just not possible for us to not connect with our own selves it's just that natural and with that I would like to begin our sound transmission today um, I have been feeling a lot of uh, Lemurian and new energy and to give you a little story about that um, I think science uh, geology and history are going to catch up with this um, but it is my belief and the belief of, of uh, a shared belief with my soul uh, family my soul sisters from around the world um, and brothers that um, 
before we had uh, before we had this this creation and the way we know it we have had another rounds of a round of creation and uh, we have called the this different called it with through in the names of different civilizations through the names of different civilizations and uh, the oldest one of the oldest that uh, the human collective remembers is the Lemurian Mu and Lemurian times uh, there's also Gondwana which was before that but uh, when we connect with that energy we'll talk about it uh, today there is certainly the Lemurian and Mu energy that is coming through uh, and it was definitely a time uh, when I connect with my source and when I experience and I uh, remember what is happening it does feel like uh, hi Darshan welcome so when I connect with uh, this, I definitely feel like it is. Uh, it was a very abundant uh, place where everybody was connected to their higher self and source and it was easy to manifest anything at the speed of thought. So uh, we are going into that uh, through the work that we are doing together, uh, through the collective consciousness and uh, just as the Mayan calendars revealed and so many cultures around the world revealed including the, the Vedas uh, we are now entering Satyug so uh, a lot of this is going to happen and we need to just start getting used to these magical beings being around us uh, and so when you know that you have this unlimited source of love support and guidance and friendship um, the, why not uh, make, it, make the best of it and enjoy that connection so uh, I'll start into start getting into like language now um, I did speak a little bit today uh, it felt like it was coming through um, so I'll just prepare myself and we'll begin uh, sorry as we begin I would like all of you to hold an intention think about a question or a request or uh, or a thought that you would like to hold an intention towards when you connect with your um, uh, your angels, your guides, your higher self, your God, your source. So um, keep that in your mind and as an intention as we begin because I think holding an intention is, is the most important part when we do these processes. And uh, uh, as I play or as the toning comes through, um, as you all know, it doesn't have to be, it's, it doesn't necessarily need to be melodious, it doesn't have to make sense, but it is always the right frequency that the, the group and the collective needs or is looking for. All right, so as you hold that intention, I'm just gonna center myself and bring through some sound codes so that our higher self connects with us and gives us those answers, messages or assurance. Da
I also feel like um, some kalimba is coming through. So let's see where that takes us. I never know where that takes us. So after a long time, it looks like the Jewish mouth harp wants to come through as well. Let's see where that takes us. I love this instrument whenever it's ready to come through for channeling. you that was today's transmission uh, did any of you have any experiences epiphanies or any messages or reinsurance or any visual that came through for you uh, if you want to write it in the chat you're most welcome if you want to keep it private let me know in the chat or you can directly message me as well and I would love to know what you experience and uh, even process help you process that experience if you need my help it was lovely to have all of you here today. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, I, I'm getting another message now that be aware of your dreams for the next two or three nights, especially the next two nights, because uh, this activation has opened up some uh, permission for uh, your angels, guides, God, source to come through in some form and give you a message. So that's going to be a bit, uh, quite significant uh, in your journey. Uh, and angels can come to us in many forms and it will come in a way that is special to you and that you will be able to notice um, and I would love to hear about your journey and uh, thank you so much for being in today's session with me and I also thank all the angels guides everybody's higher self who's watching this in the present moment and in the future and all the lovely beings who've come here to assist us today um, Obviously, we also have our white dragon, Sai Baba, our golden dragon, uh, these lovely plants, um, candles, and uh, uh, a happy heart, that is uh, my happy heart, uh, that is a part of today's session. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one on the next Sunday. Bye-bye.